Hey, what's going on guys? WPJ and Dad here, Weep the Games Network. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking for this, how to live stream tutorial. Now, this is for you or anyone interested in getting into live streaming for the very first time. I'll always show you how we do it, what we do. But if you're here, do me a favor, go ahead and smash that like button. If we can get like 300 plus likes on this video, it would be amazing. Also, subscribe if you need to count. Love to have you as a subscriber. Check out more tutorials coming up in the future as well as the videos and live streams that we do Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, if you do subscribe, make sure and hit that notification button. Stay up to date whenever we drop a new video or tutorial on the channel, okay? YouTube's changed it. Select all. It'd be amazing. Thanks, guys. Stick around for this tutorial. We'll be back here in a second. All right, guys, we're back. Now, what we use for live streaming is a program called OBS. Now, there's lots of different programs out there, such as XSplit, this, that, and the other thing. But we use OBS, it's open broadcasting software. It's really amazing. And right here's the website. I'll have a link down in the description for you, but it's obsproject.com. First things first, go to the website, guys, all right? You're gonna wanna download the application select whatever operating system it is that you guys use whether it's windows mac or linux most likely windows but already guess some of you guys do have mac out there that's step one go ahead and click it get it downloaded get it downloaded we already got it no need to download second thing second thing second thing guys once you get it it's gonna look a lot like this now you're not gonna see any of these scenes these are some of the scenes that we have set up um, but first thing first is you guys are gonna want to run the auto configuration wizard now the auto configuration wizard is going to be up here in the tools section right there auto config wizard go ahead and select it it's going to pull up and it's going to say optimize for streaming recording a secondary or optimize for recording i will not be streaming now a lot of you guys i say that this is a very excellent screen recorder that's up to you you guys a lot of you guys use bandit cam this that the other thing but for all intents and purposes this tutorial is about streaming so you want to click optimize for streaming Click next. It's gonna go through some information here. Basically guys, I'm not gonna run through it because we've already done this in the past a long time ago. But if you wanna get up and started as quickly as possible, go ahead and run through the auto configuration wizard. Follow the steps to get a good starting setup for your computer. If you see only this main OBS, like I said, you can access the auto config through the tools drop down here and it's gonna find out, basically test your system to attempt to find the settings that your PC can handle. And that's gonna include streaming, recording, resolution, bitrate, encoder, streaming provider, and more. So you can always modify those settings later. Don't worry about it. Now, the second thing you wanna do is set up your audio devices. Now, by default, it's going to select your default desktop audio device and microphone. You can verify this by looking down at the volume meters right here, guys. And if you see that they're active and moving, then you know it's all set up correctly. If they're not, you're gonna have to go into the settings here on the bottom side, go on over to where it says audio. And here are all your different drop downs. You're gonna wanna select whatever it is, desktop audio that you guys use. Go over here to your microphone, select whatever microphone. I got several options there. I got several mics and several different audio sources. Once that done, guys, you're all, you're, you're pretty much golden. Go ahead and select OK, and now you got your audio devices pulled up. Next thing next, you guys are gonna wanna add sources for video. Now this is this is the meat and potatoes of it, guys, here. So for example, you guys, this is gonna be blank here. Go ahead and add a scene. Um, we'll go ahead and call it scene three. All right, because I got multiple scenes, and this will maybe be in a later tutorial, but I'm sure once you guys mess around with it for a while, you'll figure out exactly what's going on. But, so you got a scene now, right? Now you're gonna need to add some sources. Now these are things like display capture, audio input, um, game capture, video capture, text files or images, all sorts of stuff. Like I say, I recommend playing around with it. Have some fun, you'll figure it out. For all intents and purposes, for you guys, if you happen to be wanting to stream something that you're playing on your laptop, if it happens to be Roblox, like a lot of you guys, you're gonna wanna click display capture. You can name it whatever you want. We'll go ahead and call it my display I like that go ahead and select it and now you're gonna have a drop down window right here select whatever display it is that you're using I have three displays so that's why I have three options but we'll go ahead and select this first one 
and this is the window that you guys are watching <laughs> watching this on right now so you can see everything now the reason it didn't pull up to the full screen is this window here is 1920 by 1080 and what I selected was a 1600 by 900 so you're gonna want to head click right here down in the corner if you guys have this issue and drag it on over to fill up the whole screen now it is full screen now if you guys want to play a game or something like Roblox or whatever it may be now all you have to do it's capturing your display that you're you know that you're playing on go ahead and open up your window boom click open your game boom and you're pretty much ready to go there it is guys it's easy you can just you know start up your game and it will display capture and the audio as long as you got the audio and everything set up now from here guys you can add all sorts of fancy stuff and you know we'll probably get in, into that more in the future if you guys are interested about how you get your camera up here how you get like little images pictures pop-ups and all that jazz but for all intents and purposes that's really all you need to do to get started recording or streaming run through the auto config set up your audio devices and set up your first uh your first source here which will be you know for all intents and purposes for us is the display now one thing i didn't bring up guys is you're gonna really want to or need to if you're gonna be streaming this is very important you have to go to youtube okay you're gonna have to go to your youtube account go ahead and click creator studio up there in the corner after you click your icon now this channel right here guys recommend you subscribe to it this is one of our other channels here this is one that we use as a bot but we do plan on dropping more vlogs in the future on this channel so i'll have a link down below in the description but for you guys once you go here to your youtube channel you've got your youtube channel pulled up you're going to want to click live streaming here on the left hand side it's going to take you to basically your live dashboard here guys now what's important about this page is uh, 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 all the way at the bottom right here under encoder setup you're gonna see this thing called a stream key. You will not be able to stream to YouTube without this stream key. Go ahead and click reveal, copy and paste the information that is here. And then you're gonna to wanna to take this over to your OBS. Go to the settings, okay? Go to stream. Select streaming services, select YouTube, Twitch, wherever it is for us right now we're talking about youtube select youtube go down here this is where you're going to put your stream key in go ahead and put it in there and boom paste it right in there guys this is going to allow you to stream through your youtube account now please do not share that stream key with anybody if anyone has that they're going to be able to stream from wherever they're at to your youtube account so like i always say guys Internet's a crazy place. Don't share any personal information, especially your stream key. So as soon as you guys got that in there and you applied it, all you gotta do is click start streaming and you will be going live to YouTube. Like I said, we got a bunch of scenes here, guys. We got like a ton of different scenes here. And I can show you guys how to set up all of these in the future. All intents and purposes, there's really not a whole lot you guys are gonna need other than setting up that original window with your display so it's going to capture everything setting up your audio and then you know putting your stream key in there and getting get rolling man get those subscribers anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this if you want to see more videos like this definitely definitely subscribe please smash that like button if we can get 200 likes on this video that would be amazing anyway guys until next time i'm wp jam dad thank you for watching this tutorial and if you want to see more like this, find out how to add all these crazy things, get your camera up on there, comment down below, let me know what you want to see, and maybe drop more videos in the future. Peace, guys. Well, you know how I like to end these streams. So, until next time, three, two, one. Explosion. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.